Welcome to this quick guide on how to map out your dig site location when submitting your 811 tickets. Anytime you submit an 811 ticket, you are required to highlight the area where you plan to dig on a map. This highlighted area will determine which utility operators are included on your ticket, so it's important to completely highlight your excavation area. The mapping portion of your 811 ticket will be found in step two of the online ticket entry platform called One Call Access. You'll notice that the map area is blank at the moment. That's because we first need to search an area for the map to generate. When searching for an area, you have three options available to you. Street, which is used to look for addresses, single streets, or landmarks. Intersection, which is used to look for intersecting streets. Or XY, which is used to look for a GPS coordinate. Depending on the search type you select, you will be required to provide specific information. If using GPS coordinates, make sure they are in the NAD83 or decimal degree format. Using the street search type, I will type in the address to our building. When typing out an address, make sure to include the street suffix as well as the city that the address is in. This will help the map to narrow down the correct address that you are looking for. I can hit enter on the keyboard or click the suggested address. The map will now show our office building. If you are using our mobile app, you can also use the Find My Location feature. This will show the area that you are currently in on the map. Just tap the crosshairs icon and the map will take you to the area that you are currently in. One important thing to remember here is that the information you use to search for an area on the map will not be included in the written description of your 811 ticket. Any information you would like to include will need to be added in step three or four of the ticket entry window. Now let's take a look at the tools available to us on the map. If you need to zoom in and out of the map, you can scroll your mouse or use the slider tool on the left side of the map. To move the map around, just click, hold, and drag. To highlight your dig site, you can use the circle tool. This will make a perfect circle on the map. After selecting the tool, click, hold, and drag your mouse to create a circle. As you drag your mouse, you will see the diameter and radius of the circle. As you let go of the mouse, the circle will be added. You can also use the polygon tool to highlight custom areas on the map. After selecting this tool, you can click on the map to add your first point. Drag your mouse and click again to add another point. You can repeat this process as many times as needed until you completely highlight your excavation area. As you move your mouse, you will see relevant distances of the area you are highlighting. To close the area or complete the polygon, drag your mouse to the first point and click. If you are using our mobile app, you will need to tap your first point and then tap the finish button on the top of the screen. If you ever need to edit a highlighted area, you can select the Edit Layers tool. You will have access to click and drag specific points of your highlighted area to make any needed corrections. You can also delete any areas on the map with the Delete Layers tool. Just click Clear All to remove the layers. Another useful tool is the Measure Distance tool. This is found on the left-hand side of the map window and allows you to measure distances on the map without highlighting an area. Under that will be the Pin tool. You can use this tool to place pins or markers on the map of relevant areas. It's important to remember that the pin tool and the measure distance tool are internal features that are designed to help you map out the correct area of where you plan to dig. Due to this, any pins or distances that you leave on the map will not be included on your completed 811 ticket. On the right hand side of the map is the layers menu. Here, you can change the image from satellite to street view. You can also toggle various layers on the map that may be helpful when highlighting your dig site location. My favorite is the parcels layer, which will show you the listed addresses on the map if known. 
I hope that this quick guide has helped you understand how to use the mapping tools to highlight your dig site location. If you have any additional questions about how to map out your dig site location, please contact our web operations department at web operations at usan.org.